right, so very often, people who grip with their upper um, abs are also holding tension in their pelvic floor. And the reason that this happens is because when you grip down with your abs, you're pushing your body weight backwards and you have to balance it out by pushing forward from the bottom half or the other way around. You push forward from the bottom half and then you grip down to balance that push forward back out. And so I want you to stand up and think through walking with a lot of rotation like we were talking about in yesterday's um, post. So if you step forward with one leg, you have to create length across the back of your hip because your pelvis is gonna turn away from the foot that you're stepping on. So as you do that, you're lengthening the back of the trailing leg. And if you also swing your arms so that your upper body turns towards the leg that you're standing on, you create this length and this rotation in your rib. So as you rotate your upper body towards your standing leg, you've created this length across the back of your hip and then this twisting length in your rib cage, but your pelvis and your rib cage are going the opposite direction. So your pelvis is turning away from your leading leg and your rib cage is turning towards your leading leg and that makes you lengthen the muscles in the back of your hip and the muscles in your rib cage. So see if you can stand up and twist this way and still hold on to that tension in, in your pelvic floor, in your rib cage, wherever you tend to feel it. And then you're gonna go the opposite direction so that you're creating length going the opposite direction. And then when you walk, obviously you're not gonna have an arm swing this big, but when you walk, that rotation helps keep you from holding on to that tension. So if you want to learn more about these sorts of ideas and how to make your walking work for you in a practical way, I'm enrolling now in my walking course until October 8th. This is Dr. Talk About Internet.